You're Not Crazy, You're in Perimenopause by Tap Frankie Ingolia. If you are a woman between 35 and 55 who has not yet entered menopause, then this is something you might want to listen to. A woman's fertile years, which begin at puberty and end at menopause, are controlled by a delicate, well-orchestrated dance of hormones. Puberty, when fertility begins, tends to be rocky, with physical and emotional changes occurring as the woman matures. By the same token, the decline of fertility, known as perimenopause, and culming in the end of a woman's fertile years, known as menopause, can be equally physically and emotionally taxing. For hormonal changes in a woman's later life, menopause takes the main stage. However, the transition period, called perimenopause, which can last up to 10 years, can be just as significant. Perimenopause usually happens to women when they're in their 40s, but sometimes can happen as early as their 30s. Like puberty, this entails significant hormonal shifts. Typically, this transition begins 7 to 10 years prior to menopause. In this period, the ovaries begin to make less estrogen by about 75%. This culminates when the ovaries stop releasing eggs. After 12 consecutive months of no menstrual cycle, then a woman is considered to be in menopause and is no longer fertile. Because I'm recording. For the purpose of this presentation, I would like to review what happens in a woman's body during perimenopause when estrogen levels decrease. Though there are many hormones that shift during this time period, progesterone, testosterone, and FSH to name a few, I am only going to focus on estrogen. The consequences of less available estrogen throughout the body are varied and can range from unnoticeable to severe. Some women sail through this transitional time completely unaffected by these hormonal shifts and changes, while other feel the effects profoundly. The symptoms of perimenopause include hot flashes, frequent UTIs, weight gain, increased PMS, moodiness, depression, breast tenderness, fatigue, vaginal dryness, painful intercourse, incontinence, headaches, heart palpitations, muscle aches, difficulty concentrating, forgetfulness, bone loss, thinning hair, decreased skin tone, changes in cholesterol levels, low libido, and insomnia. So what role does estrogen play? Estrogen, which is produced by the ovaries, plays a critical role in multiple systems. It is a chemical messenger that controls how certain tissues behave. Estrogen affects almost every tissue or organ system. One of the systems affected is the urinary system. This is because the decrease in estrogen causes a thinning of the lining of the bladder. This leaves women more susceptible to urinary tract infections. The lack of estrogen makes the bladder weaker, which can cause a woman to experience dysuria, or painful urination, and an increase in urinary urgency, which can culminate in incontinence. Another system affected is the bone matrix. Estrogen regulates bone homeostasis and helps to preserve bone strength. The decrease in estrogen causes an increase in bone loss, which can lead to osteoporosis. Estrogen helps to regulate cholesterol by increasing HDL, happy cholesterol, and decreasing LDL, lousy cholesterol. When estrogen levels decline, the opposite occurs. HDL drops while LDL increases, which leaves the body more susceptible to heart disease. Estrogen also soaks up free radicals in the blood that can damage arteries and other tissues. Estrogen relaxes and smooths the blood vessels, which promote blood flow and support circulation. A perimenopausal woman will often experience changes in her heart rate, 
Lower estrogen levels can affect the heartbeat both in speed and regularity, this meaning that a perimenopausal woman might feel her heart skip a beat, flutter, or feel her heart racing. Usually, this only lasts for a few minutes. Most of these irregularities are non-life-threatening palpitations and are not something to worry about. However, any heart irregularity should be checked out by a doctor. The clock. A drop in estrogen can trigger a headache as well as other pain in the body. Many women, when they are menstruating, experience estrogen-related headaches and muscle aches. This is due to the fact that estrogen controls the chemicals in the brain that affect the sensation of pain. A drop in estrogen levels can trigger a headache as well as other aches and pains in the body. The most severe type of headache, known as a migraine headache, are the most commonly triggered by these hormonal fluctuations. Though there are still some questions about how body temperature is controlled by our hormones, it is clear that the primary reproductive hormones have a great influence on our thermoregulation. Estrogen generally promotes vasodilation, heat dissipation, and lower body temperature. As estrogen helps to dissipate heat and helps keep body temperature low, when estrogen levels decrease, it follows that the heat in the body increases. A hot flash occurs when estrogen levels dip, which increases body temperature. The blood vessels near the skin surface widen in an attempt to cool off, which makes a person break out in a sweat. This will typically last around five minutes. Estrogen, along with other reproductive hormones, are responsible for our sex drive. This estrogen dip decreases sexual desire. In addition to that, estrogen helps to lubricate the vagina. Without that lubrication, the vagina can feel dry and sensitive, which can make sex uncomfortable. This can create intimacy issues with their partner, as well as feelings of loss of sexuality, which can have a negative emotional effect on the perimenopausal woman. Another potentially emotional response can be the reaction to loss of hair in perimenopause. Estrogen influences hair growth. The more estrogen a woman has, the more hair they have. When estrogen levels decrease, their hair can become thin and potentially even create bald patches. This affects how a woman sees herself and can make her feel less attractive. This has an impact on her self-esteem and can be difficult. Estrogen is involved in another exterior image-related issue, which is skin elasticity. Estrogen improves the thickness and quality of the skin. The reduction in estrogen creates atrophic skin changes and accelerated skin aging. This decrease in estrogen decreases defense against oxidative stress, which means that skin becomes thinner and has less collagen. This creates decreased elasticity, increased wrinkling, increased dryness, and reduced vascularity. A specific type of estrogen called estradiol is responsible for regulating metabolism in women. When this decreases, a woman tends to gain weight more easily and find it more difficult to lose weight. This is particularly true in the midsection and abdomen. This type of fat called visceral fat can be dangerous and lead to diabetes, stroke, and heart attack. Like the changes in hair and skin, weight gain can also have an impact on a woman's self-esteem and can create additional stress. The most interesting effect of lower estrogen on physiological functioning is the effect on the brain. The decrease in available estrogen affects neurotransmitter function, which can leave women feeling anywhere from blue to completely nuts. This occurs because many neurotransmitters are dependent on estrogen for ordinary functioning. These symptoms can range from changes in mood to panic attacks to short-term memory issues and insomnia. Low estrogen affects brain function. It does so by influencing the central nervous system. Estrogen affects both the generation and efficiency of neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitters are affected mostly in the amygdala, 
hippocampus, and prefrontal lobes. These are areas responsible for emotion and cognition. Estrogen can affect emotional behavior by acting on the HPA axis, as well as influencing emotional processing. Estrogen affects emotional arousal, which can intensify the emotional experience. This can make a perimenopausal woman forgetful and moody. The amount that these hormonal changes impact us has a lot to do with stress. Perimenopause coincides with some of our most stressful periods, whether we are caring for aging parents, raising young children, reaching a peak in our careers, or all of the above, this plays a role in how we experience perimenopause. The decrease in available estrogen and the negative impact this has on a woman's neurotransmitters is amplified by the stressors associated with this time in her life. So the question is, what can we do? One of the potential answers is hormone replacement therapy. If reduced hormones are the cause of all of this chaos, then wouldn't it follow that hormone replacement therapy is the answer? The answer to that is both yes and no. Though hormone replacement can help alleviate many of the symptoms of perimenopause, it also poses some significant risks. Here are some of the benefits of hormone replacement therapy. Hormone replacement therapy can increase elasticity of blood vessels, allowing them to dilate and let blood flow more freely in the body. It can improve short-term memory, decrease hot flashes, mood swings, vaginal dryness, dry skin, sleeplessness, and irritable bladder, possibly decrease uh, incidences of Alzheimer's disease, possibly improve glucose levels, uh, decrease risk of colon cancer, as well as decrease the risk of osteoporosis. Though there are positive benefits from hormone replacement therapy, there are also significant risks. People on long-term hormone replacement therapy have an increased risk of heart attacks, stroke, breast cancer, and blood clots. Recent studies, such as the heart and estrogen progestin replacement study, show that the risks associated with hormone replacement therapy in terms of heart disease outweigh the potential benefits. The Women's Health Initiative concluded overall risks exceeded the benefits provided by hormone replacement therapy. The women who participated in the Women's Health Initiative show an increased risk for breast cancer, coronary disease, including non-fatal heart attacks, stroke, blood clots, and gallbladder disease. Some of the well-known health risks of hormone replacement therapy include an increased risk of endometrial cancer, increased risk of breast cancer with long-term use, increased risk of cardiovascular disease, including heart attacks, increase in inflammatory markers such as C-reactive proteins, and an increased risk of blood clots and strokes, especially during the first year of use in susceptible women. It has been noted that the longer someone stays on hormone replacement therapy, the greater the risk becomes. It is best to look at all familial risks for certain conditions as well as the severity of symptoms and review them with your doctor in order to make an informed decision. Hormone replacement therapy, due to some of these familial and genetic factors, are not recommended for certain women. It is not recommended for women who have a prior heart attack or stroke or an increased risk for vascular disease, have unexplained vaginal bleeding, have active or past breast cancer, have fibrocystic breast disease, active liver disease, endometrial cancer, gallbladder disease, or at a high risk for blood clots or have a history of blood clots. Bioidentical hormone therapy is an emerging field. Instead of using synthetic hormones, animal-derived versions are used. Studies indicate that the use of bioidenticals over synthetic hormones show less risk for breast cancer and heart disease. They also appear to be more effective. More studies, however, are needed. 
So what else can we do? The first thing that we need to remember is that perimenopause is a natural event in the body. It is the necessary slowdown in the fertility cycle to bridge the time between fertility and infertility. Natural methods of balancing the body can be utilized to moderate symptoms. Making your body as healthy as possible and not participating in behaviors that can have negative consequences for your health is a good start. These include not smoking, losing weight or maintaining your ideal body weight, participating in aerobic and strength training exercise for 30 to 40 minutes three to five times per week, following a diet low in saturated fat, low in trans fat, and high in fiber, whole grains, legumes, fruits, vegetables, fish, and folate-rich foods like dark green leafy vegetables. It's also advised to treat and control medical conditions such as diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure that are known risk factors for heart disease. It is advised to eat a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids. This can help with both hormone-related depression and reduced occurrences of hot flashes. These foods include salmon, walnuts, chia seeds, sardines, anchovies, spinach, hemp seeds, and wild rice. It is also advised to eat phytoestrogen-rich foods. These can help balance hormone levels naturally. Phytoestrogen-rich foods include soy, flax, sesame seeds, wheat berry, oats, and fenugreek. It is also advised to eat cruciferous vegetables like cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and kale, which are rich in diindole methane, which helps the liver to detoxify excess estrogens. Some herbal remedies are also helpful. Adaptogenic herbs like maca root can help balance hormones, increase libido, reduce blood pressure, reduce anxiety, and improve mood. Herbs like black cohosh reduce symptoms including hot flashes, heart palpitations, and depression. Motherwort can help reduce anxiety and irritability as well as calming the heart. Passion flower can help with mood swings, irritability, and insomnia while memory and brain function can be supported using sage. Kudzu root can help reduce symptoms of hot flashes, acne, night sweats, and mood swings. Regular exercise is essential to achieve balance. This is especially true of perimenopausal women. Exercise helps control weight, strengthen bones, relieve depression, and reduce cancer risk. Exercise is also an excellent stress reliever. The most optimal type of exercise is light weights and resistance training. This can include yoga, pilates, and strength training. This type of exercise increases the body's base metabolic rate, meaning that the body will burn more energy while the person is at rest. This is ideal for a perimenopausal woman as her metabolism has slowed by the reduction of available estrogen. Meditation is another tool for a perimenopausal woman to use. Meditation helps to control stress, which can have a positive impact on mood, improve sleep, and improve symptoms of depression and anxiety. If you suspect you are experiencing perimenopause or you are a woman between the ages of 35 and 55 and have not yet entered menopause, then you should meet with your gynecologist, endocrinologist, or functional medicine doctor to get appropriate testing done. These tests include thyroid function test, a blood test to determine FSH and estrogen levels, a lipid profile, and liver and kidney function tests. Work with your health care provider to determine your best course of action. No matter what, eating a nutrient-dense whole foods diet, doing regular exercise, and controlling stress will be beneficial. Balance is possible.